Hi there, it's Kevin Raber and I'm back with you again. This is gonna be a quick chat. Uh, today I wanna give you a tour, but let's kind of regress for a second. I wanna give you a tour of uh, three of my work areas over the next week or so. Uh, one is the man cave, one is my office. Both of those are located in my house. And then one, we will go down to the Indianapolis Arts Center where I'm an artist in residence and have a very large studio down there to use, which is where my printing workshops and uh, projects and printers and such are, are located. Quite the place and very privileged to be there. Anyway, today we're going to visit the man cave and the man cave is the uh, basically basement of my house, which is a very finished basement. It's pretty cool. I think you'll you'll like what you see. Cram full of photographic things, gold leafing things, old computers, uh, computers and tablets and uh, storage of all my cameras, which I'll show you where it is. Uh, it's it's <laughs> most guys would love to have a a man cave like this, and uh, luckily my wife Deborah has allowed me to have one. So, without any further ado, let's go take a look at the Raber Man Cave. Hi there, this is the stairway to my man cave. I've got it lined with uh, some of my photographs and some of Deborah's artwork. Uh, we just painted the walls a really nice man color green. It's a pretty cool place. And anyway, uh, we go further on down here and we enter the man cave itself. Come on down. Welcome to the man cave. I'm very, very fortunate to have this beautiful space here in my home that I can uh, share with you today. And uh, this is where I come to do most of my work. Uh, when I'm home, after dinner, before dinner, during the day, uh, this is the place I go when I actually need to get photography type work done. And I want to share a little bit of this area with you so you can get an idea of what it looks like. It's um, a very fun spot to work and there's a lot, a lot of stuff down here. So let's begin our tour. When you come down the steps into the man cave, you're greeted with kind of the nostalgic uh, area. You can see we have our Apple IIc computer. Uh, there are a number of books and uh, binders that I had from when I was working at Burrell Professional Labs. Um, you can see up high, hidden behind the basement sign is the Apple IIc computer. I have materials up there for when I do gold leafing material. Like I said, my firefighting helmets our Apple IIc computer, which still works. Every now and then we get it out and play Frogger with it. Down below here are some storage bins, which I use for lens wraps, all my old iPads, all my old laptops, all my old phones. I have every one of them. They're all stored perfectly and neatly in uh, those bins. So I really try to keep this place organized and uh, productive. After you come down the steps, uh, this is the view that you're presented with. Uh, it's a long, narrow area, although it's pretty wide. Everything is wood paneled and done very nicely. Uh, you can see on the top shelf over my desk area, I have a collection of Legos. Yes, I'm an avid Lego builder. I have a lot of Legos, so it's something I do in my spare time to keep me uh, sane. It's good therapy. Uh, then you see my work area. That work area consists of um, a Mac Mini with uh, a BenQ 32-inch monitor, and you can see that I've got a Zen Lab a 24 inch uh, tablet there, which is actually a screen. We'll look at that um, closely. Uh, followed by a, just a regular printer, and then off to the bottom right corner, you'll see the Epson P400 printer. This is what I use to make snapshots wirelessly uh, from my mobile devices while I'm in the home. So if I have guests over or something and we want to do activity pictures, they're all printed out on that little PM400 printer. And off to the left, you'll see two different printers. You'll see the P. 700 printer, and then further down the little area there, you'll see the P900 printer. Um, these uh, are always kept pretty busy. I'm always making some prints. And in addition to that, as you'll see when we do the tour of my upstairs office, I have an Epson 8550 printer, which I use quite a bit. One of the things I do want to show you is my secret room. You would think this is just a regular wall, but look. It goes into another whole storage room, a safe room, 
whatever you'd like to call it, but I have my tripod stored in there, uh, camera bags, uh, all sorts of uh, different things, old cameras and things like that. So uh, that's my secret room. Now, this is uh, another one of my uh, big shelf units, and as you can see, they're filled up, and I'll walk you through a little bit about what you're seeing there uh, so you understand what we're looking at. All of this here are products to be reviewed, tested, and uh, reported on. So I've got the uh, cool phone grips, uh, macro stuff, scanner, uh, all sorts of interesting things that uh, you'll be seeing about a really good backpack from Gur Gear. So you'll get a chance to look at all that. Above here are a collection of my portfolio prints and more portfolio prints and portfolio boxes. This whole shelf is dedicated to my gold leafing work, which I'll show you a little bit about in a second. Uh, then we have all the server and networking information and uh, machinery for the house. I have more of my collections of my prints over here paper, paper and paper, all for making prints. So this is all paper, I've got stock so I can make prints anytime I want. I've got uh, more paper down here, spare ink and so forth in, in those. So uh, we've got quite a bit of stuff down here. It's pretty cool stuff. Yeah. This is the other side of the man cave. I've got a beautiful old table here. It's kind of a classic that uh, we can sit down and work on and we're working on projects, I get a chance to do that. I've got an area over here where I can sit and do videos. Uh, a monitor, we can either watch images, work on with the laptop in the airplay, or just watch TV if we're down here doing something. And in the back here, I've got two big camera cabinets. Uh, we'll go into those cabinets in a second. And a workbench, which is also a charging station, and I'll show you that close up also in a minute. This is uh, my workbench. Um, this is where I can uh, work on charging. I've got charging USB cables, all different charging uh, stations for the different cameras that I own, miscellaneous cords and so forth, tools. I've got a great good selection of tools and things that I might need for working with my cameras in these drawers. So this is a beautifully set area. It's got a good light. I've got a magnifying glass back here in case I need to use it for anything of uh, fine uh, detail. So another good area here that works out really well for me. Let me show you one of my main cat camera cabinets and uh, how it's set up. If you open the drawers, you can see that I've got numerous shelves with lenses, cameras, accessories, um, all sorts of cleaning material, power packs, all sorts of different things that I might need in regards to photography. On the bottom shelf, I've got a pack made up, ready to go. And this contains all my Fuji as I should make this clear, my wife's Fuji X uh, gear equipment that she can take with her when she needs it. So all we have to do is run and grab it. It's pretty cool. Over here is another cabinet, which I use for filters, drones, all sorts of other things. Once again, it's neatly put together so you can work with it. Drones are on this shelf, miscellaneous things, gloves, connectors microphones, walkie-talkies, um, old camera systems, and up on the top shelf is filters. We've got paper cutters, mobile devices, attachments for action cameras, and so forth. So um, I store everything in these two cabinets and they work out really, really great. My camera kit is always ready to go also. Um, it contains two Sony uh, camera systems and lenses. It sits in an airport security bag Let's take a look at it. One of the last things I want to show you is uh, my go kit for my Sony system. Everything sits ready to go in an airport security bag by Think Tank. And essentially, this is my preferred way of doing things. I've got a lot of accessories in the, uh, the flap here, uh, name tags, screwdrivers, plates, card readers, and then I've got my Sony A7R4, my favorite camera in the world, Sony A1, and normally I carry a number of different lenses in here. Right now I've got a 90 millimeter macro, I've got the 
12 to 24. And on the camera itself, I have a 24 to 70 and a 16 to 35 on the A1. Now I've got uh, 100 to 400, to 70 to 200, and 200 to 600 sitting in the cabinet. And I can easily load those in either one of the side bins if necessary, depending on what I'm running out the door with. I check these every couple of weeks, make sure the batteries are charged and everything is set. I have neck straps in here, card readers, other devices, uh, gray cards and different things like that so that I can uh, pretty much go out in the field with this and be ready to go. So that's my Sony A7R4 A1 to go kit too. Ready? By now you've seen that there's a lot of stainless steel uh, cabinets and uh, drawer assemblies that I have down here in the man cave to keep things organized. And uh, these are made by a company called Seville, Seville Classics. I bought them off of Amazon. I'll put the links in the uh, description below and then in the article itself. And uh, these are really, really good. You, they come flat, so you have to screw them together, which is kind of fun. Each of those take about an hour or so to put together uh, and assemble, especially the ones with the drawers, because you have to build the drawers. No big deal. Anybody can do it with a screwdriver and Allen wrench. Um, there's a hardwood top and a handle. They're on wheels, so I can easily move them anywhere I want, especially since they're wireless. I can move them right next to me where I'm working on a printer and feed them, especially when I'm doing fine art printing. Uh, they've been really good. But let's take a look at what's inside uh, each of these. So this is the uh, cart that the P700 sits on. Let's take a look at this, and then we'll take a look at what's in the cart for the P900. On the top drawer, I have... Uh, lighting, portable lighting systems like this, which I can uh, use for fill lights anywhere I want. So I've uh, got one, two, three, four, five of those. Um, this is a corner cutter for when I make prints, I can round off the corners. Uh, so a little bit of miscellaneous things in here. In the second drawer, I have a lot of grips. These are used with my action cams, uh, mini tripods, clamps, and so forth like that. This drawer is a print drawer, so I have a lot of prints in here before I move them over to portfolio boxes and so forth. So this is just a good sized drawer that'll hold a lot of different size prints. Ink. This is for the uh, P700 as well as the EcoTank printers, the 8550 and the office printer that I have that work with EcoTank. This one's uh, pretty empty at this point, so I've got some plans for it, so I don't think it's not gonna happen. And then in the bottom, we have uh, packing supplies, uh, cases for speakers, extra paper, and so forth like that. This is the cart that my P900 sits on, and I also have a lot of camera uh, loose gear. How many of us don't? Let's take a look at what we have in there. On the top drawer, I have lens caps, connectors, adapters, lens cleaning material, different things that I might need uh, in regards to uh, anything photographic. The second drawer contains uh, a lot of connectors once again, different handles for video grips and uh, little things like that. A lot of these things are in plastic bags so I don't lose them. This is my uh, microphone area. That's where I have a lot of different adapters for sound, uh, extra lavalier microphones, uh, the different things I need to do uh, sound work with. I should mention there's a whole other kit in a case for sound. This is the camera strap drawer, so all different camera straps. I use primarily Peak Design straps. I love the connecting system that works with them, so this is a bunch of Peak Design stuff. We also have straps in both the Fuji kit and the kit I showed earlier, which is the Sony kit. Here I have my battery drawer. This is pretty much all the different batteries we might need. So uh, I've got a ball head in there, different charging cables and so forth. And then in the bottom drawer is a number of different lighting kits, uh, dead cats and other microphones. So that's kind of a drawer where you can find almost the different lighting kits and systems that I have. So that shows you what the two uh, rolling cabinets I have if the drawers are all about. Before we go, I want to share with you uh, another one of the projects that I do in the uh, man cave, and that's gold leafing, gold gilding. 
I learned how to do this from Dan Burkholder and I got addicted. And what you're seeing is just a drop in a bucket of the images I've been producing using gold leaf and so forth. I'll be doing a video on this and an article in the very near future. But this is just to kind of show you a little bit about my gold leafing project, what I've been doing and how I've been doing it will be followed through later on, but this is just another thing that goes on down here. Sometimes I even need gold leafing where we uh, use color photographs in there and printing them on the paper. Here's one of a model in a factory. So anyway, this is the other thing I do on this table. It's quite extensive when I get around to doing it and that's called gold leafing or gilding. And uh, it's quite a process and it's a little different than you normally would make a print but it's a lot of fun and really the results are pretty spectacular. So we'll be talking more about that in the future. So that just about wraps it up. You've now had a quick tour of the man cave. Remember, I still have my office to show you and I still have the studio to show you. But uh, this man cave is a great place for me to retreat in my own home. Great place where I can be creative, explore new things, learn new things, and share things with my friends and others that come and make a visit to our home. If you're in Indianapolis, let me know. Love to have you come over and see the man cave, show you my office, and heck, we can go down to the studio and make a few prints. Anyway, this is Kevin Raber, and thanks very much for being part of the Photo PXL family. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of the man cave, and I'll see you again real soon.